everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and we are going to be taking a look at Hush Hush which is the newest collaboration between B First and ATs. I have marathoned ATs from their pre-debut up until their most recent work and I am actively looking at B First. I've looked at a couple things from them already, excited to see more and I'm going to do this a smidgen different than um, normally what I would do when I look at material. Uh, normally I just do a music video and dance performances if they exist, but they ended up releasing an audio only version the day before the music video. So I thought let's go ahead and vibe out like the masses and see what just the track and isolation sounds like and then see what the visual is going to be. So without further ado, let's get started. On brand though, with a uh, rain, like that kind of niche of era in the K-pop scene. This is cool. He flip flopping between B first and eighties. Hey. Mingi right here. Ooh, that was dope. This sounds like a dance break if I ever heard one. I feel if, if a collab's gonna have a dance break or dancing in it, it needs to be this one. Ooh. Sheesh, okay, we're here for it. I mean, that's pretty dope. It, it definitely gives overlap and it can be either of their songs and that sounds like a successful collab if you ask me i also know based on the structure of the song i will be shocked if we do not get some form of dance collaboration as well especially seeing b first choreo and then seeing a teases they are very different in niche of exploration and my heart <laughs> would really love to see each one tackle the other's movement quality but i digress we have the music video right here here we go. I'm, I'm curious how they filmed it. If they all were in the same space together, I'm assuming yes, because of the promos. 
or like some of the shots they have. Who the hell are you? Big first. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Combining their lures, it looks like, yeah? Walking is what this feels like, yeah? There it is. This is so cool. The amount of CGI in this is wild. Dance break time. I think they already technically did it. There it is. This feels like a legit collab, you know what I mean? Because they're in the same space together. Such an 80s <laughs> aggression and choreo just then. That's cool. That's cool. Are they gonna show like credits? Be first. Love it. Eighties. Here we go. That's what I was waiting on. Yep. Okay. So they literally. This feels like a collab, not just in movement quality, but also in production because. You have the lyrics are done by everybody who's affiliated with both groups, which I think is super dope. Arrangers produced by Sweet, digital editing, all that mess. Master editing, Mike Bozzi. Dope. Okay, choreographer Rihada. You know what's so cool? That works. Um, like, honest, I mean, of course it works. It's, it's great. I mean, this looks freaking sick. Stan and Dan's crew, huh? Oh, is is that like the skeleton crew? Maybe is who they're they're talking about here, or maybe not. That's I mean that is what it is. But that's really cool because oh no, there's dancers in there. There's dancers in the music video. Um, it feels like they have two lures. Like there's lures going on at the same time. B first, they've always had this like draped over individual, and then AT's always has the masked man, right? So I like that kind of imagery in play. And then with Rihada. They both, I feel, does B first have 
affiliation with Rihada in any way. I know Aatis does with a little bit of crazy form and then Pirate King for sure. But with B first, I haven't looked at enough of their material yet to know whether or not there is an overlap. Because if that is the case, well, see, now I'm curious. Please hold. Oh, yeah. Heavy affiliation. Okay, sweet. We're there. That is, this is just really cool. I think it's definitely, it feels so thorough and it feels like I've said a true collaboration because you can tell whenever in a music video, they, um, they shoot it separately. But this one, some of these choices would be so hard in the post-production to make it look like they're in the same space. And also they have dance breaks where they're literally interwoven with each other. And that to me screams, we filmed this mess at the same time, we were in the same room, and it feels like we're feeding off of each other's energy, which I am here for. I liked this. Do I expect a dance performance? Mm, I hope so. A girl can only hope, right? But uh, just so we can at least analyze it, because there's so many different like movements that ended up moving throughout the space. It's a bit hard to clock a lot of it and appreciate it. So I'm going to hold my analysis for uh, the hopeful of the dance, uh, just having a dance performance of some kind. And based on how they're releasing these, we may get another fun little performance video equivalents that gets released tomorrow. We will see, but this is super cool. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. Like I've mentioned earlier, I have taken a look at ATs quite extensively. Uh, we're reaching close to 100 analysis with that group in particular. So if that's something that you're like, yo, I want in on it, Patreon got so many of so many pieces of material with ATs already released we're here for it um, and then with B first I've taken a look at two three different pieces of material with them it was master plan mainstream very recently and then Junin's uh, Nova flame and then we take a look here and I do know there's gonna be another one with B first that comes that's coming soon too so you can be on the lookout for that you guys know me I know you I'm Jess and I will catch you on the flip side bye